I don't know. You know what's funny? It's back in the day, whenever you did shows like that, you never made it. Now people actually make it. You know, do you remember a long time ago on uh, MTV, they had Making the Band? Nobody ever made it. Nobody ever fucking made it. That's why I never went on Last Comic Standing. I never went on that because that's all I thought about was MTV Making the Band. Everybody who went on Making the Band never made it. I was thinking, you know, Nirvana wasn't on Making the Band. They didn't do a show like that, did... Did, you know, did Cinderella go on making the band? I don't think they did. You know who went on the band or who went on that fucking The Real World? Do they still do that show? We put seven fucking people in the house and we're going to show you what happens. I love how they, they like, that's a, a point of pride with MTV. This is where it all started. Oh, you mean that shit TV where you take regular people and exploit them and have them scream at each other? Oh, Bill, get off your fucking eye horse. You watch it just like the rest of us. All right, you're right. You're right, I do. And then Have I told you I started watching that fucking arm wrestling show? Battle of Arms or whatever it is. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. These guys are fucking out of their minds. Getting each other's faces right before they arm wrestle. What do you got? Screaming at each other, fucking slamming the table around. I love that show. These fucking guys would rip your goddamn arm off. Um, I don't know what their deal is. Some of them are actually like they can't help being like that. And then there's the other ones that are fucking terrified. I don't know what it is. They had a bad father and now they're going to try to become like as close as they can to a goddamn superhero. So they, they, they got to every pull up. They got to scream. Oh! Right? Shouting the fear out of them. Whatever, good for them, you know? God bless them. In other words, I don't have anything else to say about that topic. So whenever I don't, I just go, hey, you know what? God bless them. God bless those sons of bitches. My arm's all swollen. I didn't know that that happened. That when you arm wrestled to that point, that one of your arms just blew up like a balloon. I remember back in the day when you were out in the backyard and a mosquito got on you. And if you flexed your muscle really quick, they couldn't release and you'd blow them up with your own blood. Do you remember doing that shit? Well, I do. I remember because I came up before the internet. Why isn't my fucking AC cooling off this room? Can you hear it? Can you hear it humming in the background? Oh, it's trying. That AC's trying just like I'm trying right now. I'm trying to entertain you fucks for another goddamn hour on another fucking Monday, right? There it is, people. Congratulations. You lived another week starting all over again. What are you doing right now, huh? You're sitting in your fucking car. You're in traffic. You're behind that douchebag who for some reason leaves two and a half car lengths between him and the other car on a flat surface on a dry road for whatever reason he's doing that. And yet another person is cut into your lane. It's your lane. And you're sitting there gripping the steering wheel going, you know what? In a perfect fucking world, perfect fucking world, I would punch through his side window like the Terminator. I would pull him out by his fucking throat, lift him high into the air, choke the life, just almost to an inch of his life, leave him by the side of the road, and then get in his car. Am I the only one who thinks shit like that? I don't think I am. I think it's a very normal thought. 